Albert, Extension Agent for Family Consumer Sciences. And I'm A.T. Hudnall, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. All right, so today's lesson is eating well away from home. And so we are actually at Rodney Southern Style Home Cooking Restaurant, mm -hmm. a local restaurant here in Ohio County, um, just to kind of put some, uh, pra some practice into um, action. And so we are going to be walking you through some just helpful ideas on how to eat well away from home. Right. No matter how well we plan ahead, we have really good intentions, but sometimes we just find ourselves um, eating out on the go. And so when you do find yourself in those situations, there are some guidelines that you can go by. First of all, we chose this restaurant because a sit down restaurant generally has healthier options. Mm -hmm. And then also look for a sit down restaurant with a salad bar because you can always go to a salad bar if that's the case. Um, and so what what's sticking out on the menu to you? Do you have any idea what you're gonna order? And, and in a little while, we're gonna hear from Rodney himself, and he's just gonna talk about some things that people have asked for in the past of healthier options, and maybe some things that wasn't on the menu, didn't he say? Yeah, he did. Okay. So we're gonna be looking at that. So of course, Rodney does have a good salad bar, and we already looked at that, and there's a lot of good healthy options on there. It's got the darker greens, got um, some dried fruits on there as well. So yeah. Not stuff you see every day on a regular salad bar. Yes. So it did look good. So I think I'm going to get the salad bar. Um, and I can see on the menu that the salad bar is offered by itself. Um, I did ask to see if it was cheaper if you paired it with a entree, and it is. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus. Um, of course, Rodney's is known for his fried catfish. That's right. So um, I wonder if he has grilled. I don't know. Does it come pre-battered yes. or? Yeah. So we'll ha that's one of the questions that we'll be asking him a little bit later. This Philly cheesesteak sandwich sounds kind of good. Um, it is shaved beef with grilled onions, green peppers. It does come with cheese, so we can take the cheese off if we want it, onto a hoagie bun. So there may be other options for bread. Um, or you can just minus to scratch the bread and you can still have the Philly steak sandwich without the bread. Yeah, well, we could even ask them to the cheese if we can have some extra peppers or onions. Yep, yep, that's, that's, an option. that's an option. So going through here, we want to look for words like baked or steamed or whole grain. Um, Broiled or grilled. Yeah, grilled. And a lot of uh, restaurants today will actually have out to the side or even a whole section devoted to lighter options mm -hmm. or healthier options. Mm -hmm. So then of course you can get a baked potato instead of french fries. And then instead of them loading it up for you, you can have all those things on the side. You can do that with your um, salads as well. Anything instead of them dressing it, you can have it on the side. You know, like your sour cream on the side, dressing on the side, any of those things you could do on the side. Right. I see here a grilled tilapia dinner. Yeah. That's an option. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I know on the, the board today, vegetables of the day, some llama beans and pinto beans. There you go. There's your protein. Yeah. And there is actually an option, and I've done this before, of a vegetable plate. Yeah. So you could just get um, three sides. And then you get choice of rolled cornbread, and that's a vegetable plate. And speaking of plates, um, a lot of times when it's the supper time, we can ask for a lunch plate or yes. a lunch portion. A yeah, a lunch portion. I've done mm -hmm. that as well. And then, you know, just kind of decide early on based on who you're with if you would like to share a meal. That's My daughter an option. And I did that quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, or um, get it get it to go plate, and I know with me it works a whole lot better if I ask for that to go box ahead of time, mm -hmm. so I could go ahead and portion everything off of my plate, put it in the to go box, and I'm not sitting there picking at it <laughs> yeah. as I'm yeah. eating, and yeah. then end up overeating. Right. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you're eating out a lot. Uh, with friends, maybe you just eat out every day at lunch. You know, I'm not sure of your circumstance, but um, a lot of times it's okay to bring in some healthy snacks into a restaurant, um, especially if you're with with a larger group. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I usually have something in my purse. I actually got some leftover trail mix going on. I think go. I've got some um, dried fruit in there as well. 
So you can always just order a beverage and then like a small side salad. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a good, good idea. Yeah. Very good. Um, so we have reviewed the menu. I kind of have an idea of what I would like to eat, but we're going to hear from Rodney. Just um, suggested things that from the past that people have come up with and and his thoughts on if there's anything on the menu and maybe we'll learn something. Yeah. All right, so I have found Rodney and here he is with us. And um, I'll just tell you, Rodney, we've reviewed the menu somewhat and talked about words to look for like grilled and boiled and, and sauteed and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we want to hear from you first before we actually decide on what we're going to order. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so you're, you're wanting to eat healthy? Yes. You lose a little weight and get, the, get rid of the old diabetes? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, lots to, we, grilled chicken, of course, is always a go-to item. Um, we get that a lot of times. And, and what I'll do is uh, I will, some people will ask, somebody will ask me whether I'm diet, low carb or whatever. And uh, I'll take just some mushrooms, uh, some uh, carrots, some uh, not potatoes, green beans, stuff. And what I'll, I'll chunk up some uh, chicken, I'll put it on a flat top grill, and I'll fry it up like stir fry and put it on a plate and uh, fix you know fix it like that. Uh, of course, charbroiled chicken salad is always a good one. Lots of times I will take um, a tomato and, and cut it, uh, keep it whole, put it, cut some slats in it and wedge it, and then it opens up and then you put some uh, tuna salad in the middle of it. Serve it with a boiled egg and maybe some celery And that's sticks. not on your menu, No, it right? is not. That's just an no, idea. Yeah, just an idea. When, if you go to a restaurant, and you don't, don't see anything there, there that appeals to you, you can ask them. Uh, I don't care a bit if somebody asks me, like, we have fried catfish. We do not have grilled catfish on our menu, but what I'll do is, you know, a lot of people will ask, can you grill my catfish? And, you know, so I use some extra virgin olive oil, and I'll put it down, and you can eat, you know, season lemon and pepper it, and oh. put it on the on a flat top grill, and put a dome over top of it, and steam it, and, it, you know, it's, it's good. And, uh, of course, I always go with tilapia. That, you know, we have tilapia on our menu that you can use and, and get grilled. Um, there, you don't know until you ask. Um, exactly. Yeah. So I would have never thought that because I was no. assuming that it was already coming pre-battered and, yeah. you know, I don't want to be a lot of trouble when I'm in a restaurant, so I probably would have never asked for grilled catfish. Right. Right. But it sounds fantastic. Absolutely. It, it really is. We have several people. Uh, I would say probably on a Friday we'll sell 10 or 12 orders of that, that our regulars that come in that are watching their weight or, or due to other health reasons that can't have fried foods. Um, and uh, it's, it's not no problem. We'll, we'll do what we need to do to make our customer happy. Right. Um, and uh, you know we do you can do chicken several ways. Uh, you know even lemon pepper chicken uh, on the on the you know if you're tired of eating seasoned grilled chicken, you know chicken can only be cooked so many ways, <laughs> right. Especially, right. especially if you can't fry it. Yeah. You know so so you can just ask for different Cajun lemon pepper. Uh, you know there's different things you can have a season so you feel like you're getting a different item instead of eating the same seasoned chicken all the time. Right. Uh, broccoli on the grill filled with it. Um, you know there's. All, all you have to do is, we can, we can do is anything that your creative mind can, can ask for. So you so. keep like the fresh broccoli and fresh carrots on hand. Yep, yep. Mushrooms, uh, always, even, even, even sauteed tomatoes are good. Uh, you know, just throw them, right, throw them on right at the end just when everything's about, so you don't, so you don't turn to mush. Yeah. So throw them on right at the end and give them just a quick little char and bring on roasted green peppers are awesome. That's uh, yeah, yeah there, there's just, yeah. if you want to eat healthy, like uh, I know people say, uh, well, I'm traveling, I can't eat healthy. Yes, you can. If you, if you want to, you can eat healthy. Right. Yeah. Uh, just don't go to, uh, you know, our, uh, better scratch your uh, you bet, you know, if you go to a sit-down restaurant, or even if you go to a buffet, you can. Go to Creole, you can go, go and go around, you get all kinds of healthy food off that right. menu. You just stay away from the fried stuff and the bad stuff. You know you know what's good and what's bad. Right. So right. stay away from the desserts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so dessert alternatives. Um, what about fruit? Do you have any fruit? Uh, I think I have in the past seen that on your salad bar. Yes, on the uh, of course, when it's in season. Right. Uh, and what's really good is when it, when all the vegetables are in season. We oh, do. Yes. You, that's that's really when you can you know get all the good stuff because we yeah. we'll have fresh cauliflower, and fresh uh, uh, squash, and and we do uh, boiled season squash or grilled squash. Uh, I love squash on the char roller. You know, cut it kind of thin and yes. char it. That yes. is really really good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, and if I if I have, if it's in season and I have that stuff, I will offer a healthy alternative because I know people. A lot of people these days are trying to eat healthy, but you can't always do it because of cost or because of unavailability. Uh, so when I do have something that I can offer as a healthy choice, I do that. Okay. 
All right, so I think I'm gonna maybe try some charred vegetables. Um, I know I have to try the grilled catfish because mm -hmm. I've never tried that before. Um, your salivar looks amazing. I think I'm gonna try some of that. Um, and one more question for you. I know the Philly cheesesteak sandwich is awesome. Um, I guess I could minus the cheese and minus the bun. Yes, yes, and I, I was gonna tell you, I was gonna say something about that. So if you go in and you see a ribeye sandwich, you know, just get the rib, get the ribeye without the bun. You know, just put if you put uh, a lot of people, low carb people, will take the, our cheeseburger and they'll have me put. A, I get a nice, beautiful, crisp piece of lettuce right off the head, and I'll, you know, it'll be like a cup, and then I'll place yes. it on the bottom, and I'll put a burger, and then put their. They get lettuce, tomato, uh, onions, uh, pickles, all in the middle, and uh, then I'll put another and cheese, and then I'll put it on top, oh. and. You know, healthy people that are not doing low carb just want to eat healthy. They can minus the uh, yeah. the uh, so uh, cheese. So you can do that with the Phillies cheese right. You can put on lettuce. You can do. You know, they're just. Yeah. It, 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 you know, we can do anything that you you want. Uh, minus in the bread is huge. I mean, even if you do get something that's maybe like beef, that's not as good for you. Right. But if you minus that bread, it, it it's a whole lot better than yeah. Than it's eating. a step in the right direction. Yes, it is. <laughs> right. Yes, right. And and to, and to fill you a little more, yet yeah, of course, I had grilled mushrooms and grilled onions with it as well. And and also tell uh, it, like my place, we would say you know we would ask customer to um, ask to use uh, um, olive oil instead of the, our, we have a savory, it's called savory, it's yes. a butter oil mixture. Mm -hmm. So we would use extra virgin olive oil to, to cook with instead of the mm -hmm. savory. So that, you know, all that stuff adds yeah. up over, over yes. you know, uh, say a week, if you're traveling or whatever and you, you really can't, but all that stuff will end up by the end, end of the week, yeah. it, it'll make a difference. Exactly. Yep. exactly. Boiled eggs, you know, uh, you may have to wait a little bit, you, you need boiled yeah. eggs. You have to, mm -hmm. you know, wait 10, 15 minutes for boiled eggs. In the morning time, a lot of people do that yeah. as well. Boiled eggs and oatmeal, that's another thing you know that you can get in the morning time. Yes. Is that it's filling and it's still good for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place our order and we'll be back with you shortly to show you our plates. Okay, so now we have our meals, and it is mouth-watering delicious. It yeah. looks mouth-watering delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to explain the reason why I have a mustard bottle setting on the table. Um, I fixed this fantastic salad. Um, look how colorful that is. Very colorful. That's a lot of, everything a lot of that they had on the salad bar, um, including the cranberries, the dried fruit. Um, so I've got a lot of color in there. They had um, spinach, they had other dark greens. It was like a salad mix. Um, look, there's some purple. So very good. It was more than just your iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm. So more nutrition in the darker, leafier greens. There was some boiled egg on the salad bar, so I got that. Some mushrooms. So excellent. Mm -hmm. um, but I was going through the salad dressings and really didn't find one that I liked find one that I thought was too healthy. Um, so what I ended up doing, and I've done this before, is I asked if the restaurant had mustard and honey. And mm -hmm. guess what these two things mixed together makes? Honey mustard dressing Honey sauce. mustard <laughs> dressing. And um, it's pretty simple because then all, it's a two ingredient dressing. Mm -hmm. So it's made of natural honey and mustard. So that's what I went with, and that's what I mixed together in this bowl because, as I've told you before, you know, when you pour salad dressing over top of your salad, it's all going to soak to the bottom and you're going to eat too much. And so I'm simply going to dip my fork in it, take a bite, or take my fork into the salad, pick up some greens, and then take a bite. So let's see what your meal is. So mine was the Philly cheese steak, and of course, it had the big bun that you always get, the big hoagie, and we asked for it to be on the lettuce, and he's, look, he's just made it just perfectly here, and there's all the meat, and there's the peppers, and the onions, and the mushrooms, and this looks really, really tasty. It does look good. Of course, I've got the steamed broccoli on the side, yep. and I love steamed broccoli. Yeah, I got the steamed broccoli, um, I got the lima beans, and check out this fish. That looks really good. Grilled fish. Grilled. And it looks, it smells amazing. Wow. Yes. So we can't wait to dig in. Um, I hope you'll pick up some of these uh, tips that we shared with you the next time that you catch yourself out and about and you are, um, you're having to eat out for whatever reason. Maybe it's a social event. Maybe it's somebody's yeah. birthday, a special occasion that you find yourself at a restaurant. 
So um, just know that there are healthier options.